This is a quick summary and analysis of The Death Cure by James Dashner. This is a story about a boy named Thomas who survived a series of trials and tests by Wicked, an organization trying to find a cure for a deadly disease, the flare, that has infected the planet. Thomas is kept in a padded cell by himself for a long time, but is then released and sees his friends, the Gladers. The group is given the option of having their memories restored by a man named Jansen, the Rat Man, who introduced them to their trials in the Scorch. Most of them are interested in the procedure, but Thomas, Minho, and Newt are against it. They also learn that most of them are immune to the flare, but Newt is not. Wicked forces the three of them to have their memories restored, but before that can happen, Thomas leads an escape from the facility with Brenda and Jorge. They also discover that Teresa is leading an escape at the same time with the rest of the Gladers. Their destination is Denver, a city that is secure and has protected citizens by quarantining the infected from the non-infected. The group arrives in Denver and uses fake names to get into the city. As they are walking around, they are given a note that instructs them to meet with Galley, Thomas's rival from the maze who killed Chuck, Thomas's best friend. Galley tells them that there is a resistance against Wicked called the Right Arm and that they are slowly trying to stop Wicked from future experiments. Thomas agrees to help them, but when the group returns to their ship, they discover that Newt is gone. They search for Newt at a crank palace, a place where those infected with the disease congregate. They they find Newt at a bowling alley, however, he's starting to show signs of the flare and tells them to leave. They return to Denver to find that things have gotten out of control. More and more of the immunes, those who are immune from the flare, are disappearing and the cranks are getting out of hand. Thomas meets with the leader of the right arm, Vince, and it is discovered that Wicked is gathering up immunes to run more trials for research purposes. Thomas and Vince come up with a plan to destroy Wicked from the inside. As the group is traveling, they encounter Newt. Newt tells Thomas that he wants to die and Thomas shoots him. Thomas returns to Wicked headquarters alone and learns that they want to dissect his brain for the the cure for the flare. Just as they are starting the operation, the right arm attacks the headquarters. While the right arm is fighting the wicked guards, Thomas and a small group head back to the maze to save the immune population with the help of Chancellor Page, the leader of Wicked. They organize the hundreds of people and try to escape. The maze begins to deteriorate due to the explosions by the right arm. Several people die, but a lot of them escape as they try to find a flat trans, a portal that will take them somewhere safe. Thomas and his group are confronted by Jansen and some of the guards, but Thomas and his group overcome them. However, Teresa dies. In the end, the survivors escape through a portal, arrive at a quiet place in the countryside, and must rebuild the human race again. As always, a lot can be said about this story, but what draws my interest and attention is the idea of individual sacrifice for the common good of mankind. This is something that Thomas and his friends are constantly asked to do since they potentially hold the secret for the cure of the flare. Thomas is put through a series of tests and variables which bring him to his extremes both physically and emotionally. And after he overcomes those challenges, he is promised that his sacrifices are for the good of mankind. But then he is put through more challenges and later told that it is also for the good of mankind. At some point, when is enough enough? When is it not worth sacrificing the lives of one individual or a small group of individuals for the greater good? Let me know what you think about the story in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more random book reports and thanks for watching.